Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023, and this is another edition of Cafe Devo. Coming to you courtesy of First Congregational Church right here in the heart of beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood. That, of course, is my pal Bugsy hanging out over there where he usually does. I hope your Tuesday is going well. For some of you, I know you're still on vacation. I believe most of the kids are still out of school. Some of you took an extra few days and you're kind of easing your way into 2023. Regardless, thanks for joining me. We're going to go back again to the book Truth for Life, the second version, the second edition of the book, rather. It was written by Pastor Alistair Begg and is copyright 2022, The Good Book Company. Psalm chapter 6. Verses 2 and 3. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is greatly troubled. But you, O Lord, how long? Have you ever felt like your life is at low tide? Perhaps you feel that way even right now. Sometimes we sense that we no longer have the spiritual vitality we once had. Either our own sins or sins committed against us or by others have sapped our strength. Dark clouds can overshadow faith at times. What was once a devoted zeal has become a distanced formalism. And what we used to enjoy, we now merely endure. Such feelings may barely register at first. The waters seem to recede slowly. But the next thing you know, you look down and see the bare ocean floor. The ship of your faith has run aground. When David wrote Psalm 6, his soul was at low tide. He was stuck in despair. He said, I am weary with my moaning, Psalm 6-6. My eye wastes away because of grief, Psalm 6-7. David's experience shows that it is not abnormal for us, even as believers, to feel overwhelmed by sin or circumstances, be it our own sin or the sin committed against us. But hope for a higher tide remains. David pleads for God to be gracious to him. Turn and deliver my life, he pleads. Psalm 6-4. Living this side of the cross You and I know the ultimate source of that deliverance for which David pleaded. There on the cross is the mercy without measure. At Calvary, God canceled the record of our sin and shamed our spiritual enemies. Colossians 2, 14 and 15. Yes, Christ's cross confronts us with our guilt and brings us to our knees. But the grace and mercy that God lavishes on us there also stands us up on our feet. The God who encounters our hardened hearts is the same God who grants us repentance, 2 Timothy 2, 25. And he liberates our lips to praise him. Because of Jesus, God hears our weeping and our despair, Psalm 6, 8. And if we have come to know and love his mercy, then we can claim with David, the Lord has heard my plea. The Lord accepts my prayer, Psalm 6, 9. We come to him, we cry to him, we commit ourselves to him. No matter how low we are, how guilty we may feel, or how hurt by the actions of others we are, God can still turn our mourning into dancing and clothe us with gladness, Psalm 30, 11. God does not guarantee that the tide will come rushing back as soon as we cry out to him. But hope is never far off for those who trust in the Lord. One day, whether today or the first day of our eternity with him, we will know complete healing of our souls and our bodies and our hearts, and ultimately an end to our troubles. God's timing may be mysterious to us, even frustrating at times. But the tide will come in, and all our troubles will be swept away. The cross guarantees it. For more on this, go back and read Psalm chapter 6. Lord, you are our hope and our redeemer, ever faithful, our closest friend, 
our most mighty defender. You provide for us. You guide us. You watch over us. You comfort us, Lord. Some under the sound of my voice are brokenhearted today. Come close to them, Father. Bring the tide back into their lives and lift their spirits. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Tuesday edition of Cafe Devo. Hey, thanks for spending a few minutes with me. I hope it was a blessing to you as we continue making our way through the earliest days of 2023. I wish you all a happy new year. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, and I'm out of here for now. God bless you, my friends. I love you all. 